Hello guys! First of all, I want to congratulate everyone who survived in 2020 with the beginning of the new year. Today I want to break into new traveling season with a story about legendary Galata Tower of Istanbul and show you mesmerizing and breathtaking views from the top balcony of the tower. Galata Tower is one of the symbols of Istanbul, and even if you are not a geeky type of a tourist who is exploring each corner and entering all the museums of the city, you will often see this pointed medieval tower from different angles while you take a walk in the city center. This tower is situated in the European side of the district of Beilu, near Karaköy. You can find a video about the history of Karaköy and its interesting locations on my channel. There is a link below in the description to this episode. Beilu area is a former Italian district. It differs from the other parts of Istanbul and its old historian European spirit is still preserved. Narrow cobble streets, old architecture and cute coffee shops take you back in time and give you a feeling of being in some small medieval town in Italy. The first prototype of this tower was built in 528 during the Byzantine times and it was used as a lighthouse. The present tower, which you can see, was built in 1348. In those times, this part of the city first belonged to Venetians, then to Genoese, who had semi-independence from the Byzantines. The tower was built during the expansion of the Genoese colony. It was part of their defense wall surrounding the area and it was used as a watchtower. The tower got its name in the honor of old name of the quarter where it is standing, Galata, but Genoese is also named it as the Tower of Christ. During its history the tower has been used for many different purposes and its usage has changed from time to time. With the conquest of the Constantinople, it became a prison to detain prisoners from the war. Later, the upper section of the tower was used as the observation center for spotting fires in the city. And it even was used for some time as an observatory. You can still find the preserved objects and scientific equipments from the observatory at the Galata Museum, which is situated on one of the floors of the tower. The height of the tower is 61 meters, but as it is located on one of the hills, the panoramic point of the Galata Tower is approximately 140 meters above the sea level. The diameter of the tower 9 meters, and the walls are quite thick with a thickness between 3 to 3.7 meters. Throughout its history, a lot of artists, famous painters and photographers were inspired by a mysterious image of the tower and its amazing views. The panoramic view from up here is breathtaking and gives you a chance to see the whole city with a 360-degree view. The best time to visit, according to me, is at the opening hour in the morning or during the golden hour before sunset. Trust me, it's magical. For example, here, on the top of the tower, the first French panorama painter, Pierre Prévost, drew his famous work, Panorama of Constantinople, 
in 1818. And this is the example of the panoramic photography taken by the Syriac Armenian photographic firm of Seba and Joalier. It consists of 10 separately taken photographs, which are displaying 360 degree view of Istanbul in 1880s. I cannot forget to mention the famous Russian artist Ivan Konstantinovich Ivazovsky, who dedicated the whole period in his work to Istanbul, and this is his painting, Galata Tower by Moonlight. This is the contemporary example, the 3D optical illusion. Ukrainian street artist Alex Maksiyev painted the Galata Tower on the stairs of Mishurtiyat Street in Beylu district. But not only artists were inspired by Galata Tower. There is one beautiful legend which I want to tell you. In circa 1630-1632, one Ottoman scientist, Hizar Fen Ahmed Chilebi, made the first flight in history from Galata Tower. He studied air flows, made artificial wings similar to bird, and jumped from the top balcony of the Galata Tower. He overflew Bosphorus and landed in Uskudar district which is an Asian site. It is about six kilometers in distance. And if to believe to the legend, he even survived. But after his experimental flight, was sent in exile to Algeria. That's all for today, folks. Leave your likes, comments, subscribe to our channel, and I shall see you very soon. It was my sing. Keep safe. Bye.